السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا مسلمس يا دا سيريس يا ديسكس نمبر 4 whenever we enter or we intend to enter the toilet for urinals or for defecation then it is mustahab or it is recommended to cover the head and put on foot wears put on chappals or something like that mm-hmm. shoes whenever we go to uh, go to toilet then also there is direction when we sit for urination or defecation then we have to incline to the left side mm-hmm. to incline to the left yes. side also when we enter the toilet we have to use first we have to use the left leg and we when, when we get out of it we have to use the right leg then you have this regarding this sunan al qubr al qubra lil bayhaqi imam bayhaqi hadith number 4 433 kitab at-tahara book on purification tahara means purification purification yes akhbarna abdul khaliq ibn ali sanad gustan an aisha radiyallahu anha qalat kan an-nabiy sallallahu alayhi wasallam idha dakhala al-khala'a ghatta ra'suhu wa idha atahu lahu ghatta ra'suhu narrated Aisha radiyallahu anha whenever prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam went to the toilet he would cover his head and whenever he was intimate with his wife or when he intends to contact with his wife then he would cover his head so this is the hadith now regarding this hadith imam bai haqi himself says there is uh, uh, some problem regarding the authenticity of this hadith so hat of this hadith eh? so it's a weak hadith this sanad is not so good eh? still the ruling here that is to cover the head when we go to the toilet It is the ruling. Eh? That is given in another hadith. He say, that is. وَرُوِيَ فِي تَغْطِيَةِ الرَّئِسِ عِنْدَ دُخُورِ الْخَلَاءِ عَنْ أَبِي بَكَرْ وَهُوَ عَنْهُ صُحِيحِ وَرَوَاهُ عَيْضًا عَنْ حَبِيبِ الْسُوَالِهِ عَنْ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ مُرْسَلَ That is. Imam Bayi Haqi says though there is some problem regarding the authenticity of this hadith the ruling is good because there is one report regarding the covering of the head when we enter into the toilet and it is reported it is about uh, Abu Bakr Allah huh? yeah. that this is from Abu Bakr رضي الله عنه and it is reported from him as authentic hadith uh, is a sahih hadith so uh, we have to cover our head when we enter the toilet it is recommended or it is mustahab also from the hadith of habib bin habib bin salih we can understand that the covering of head or covering the head when we enter the toilet is recommended it is nadb it is sunnah it is mustahab now next hadith that is an habib bin salih kan qala kan rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam idha dakhal al khala'a labisa hidahu wa ghatta ra'suhu habib bin salih reports that is رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم بينما رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم went to the toilet he would put on his 
he would put on his shoes. Lebisa hidaaho. Hida means hida means shoes. He would put on his shoes and gattara usu. Gattara usu who? And he would cover his head. So covering the head and wearing chappels or shoes or footwear like that. This both these things are sunnah or mustahab when we enter the urinals or toilet like that. Then another hadith. Sunan Abi Dawood. Hadith number thirty-one. Kitab Tuhara book on purification. Under that book, Babu Karahiyati Masjid Zakari Bil Yamini Fil Istibra. Disapproval of touching one's private parts or penis with the right hand while purifying. When one purify after uh, urination or stinja. Eh? Stinja means purification after urination. Stinja. Eh? Then uh, touching one's private area. Touching one's private area with the right hand is karahat. It is Recommended to be avoided. Just to be avoided. Touching with the right hand. Hadith. And Abu Qatada and Abu Hin. Abu Qatada reports this hadith from his father. Okay. Qala. He said, Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Iza baala ahadukum, Fala yamassadakarahu bi yaminihi, Wa iza atil khala, Fala yatamassah bi yaminihi, Wa iza shariba, فلا يشرب نفسا واحدا. That is narrated Abu Qatadah رضي الله عنه from his father. That is he said رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said إذا بال أحدكم whenever one of you any one of you urinates then فلا يمسك ركعه بيمينه he should not touch his penis with his right hand. He should not that's his penis or private part with his right hand. وَإِذَا أَتَلْ خَلَعَ And whenever one enter privy, that is خَلَعَ for urination or for defecation, then فَلَا يَتَمَسَّحْ بِيَمِينِ He should not, he must not wipe himself, wipe, 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 wipe himself on that part, on the private part with the right hand should not wipe with the right hand only with the left hand okay then وَإِذَا شَرِبَ فَلَا يَشْرَبْ نَفَسًا وَحِدًا and whenever one drink one should not drink it with one breath, eh? with one breath like this, eh? with the one single breath or one, with the single breath, eh? he should uh, drink little by little. Okay, little by little. Then, hadith number thirty-two in Sunan Abi Dawood itself. Then, it is the hadith is reported by Hafsa Zawjin Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كان يجعل يمينه لطعامه وشرابه وثيابه ويجعل ويجعل شماله لما سوى ذلك. نريد حفصاء رضي الله عنها. توي فاف النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم used to used his right hand for his food, drink, and dressing, and he used left hand for other purposes that is khala or uh, for uh, entering toilet like that or for washing hmm? after urination like that okay then hadith number 33 and aisha qalat kanat yadu rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam al yamna li tuhurihi wa ta'amihi wa kanat yaduhu al yusra li khalaihi wa ma kana min adha then Aisha Allah and also reports uh, hadith similar to that of Hafsa Allah and her. Then she says, <coughs> Rasulullah used his right hand for 
his ablution. That, that is to take water for ablution. To take water for tuhur, for ablution, for wudu. Then uh, for taking food. Then he used his left hand for taking water for stinja. That is khala or for washing after urination or defecation. And for uh, such uh, things which are repugnant for similar things. Okay, then. <coughs> now, another hadith. Sunan al Kubra from <coughs> for Imam Bayhaqi. Hadith number 435. It is reported by Suraqat bin Juhshum. Suraqat bin Juhshum. Faqala, he said, Allamana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ida dakhala ahaduna al-khala'a Ay yaltamid al-yusra Wa yansib al-yumna Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Taught us to uh, Whenever we enter the toilet And when we sit there For urination Either for urination Or for defecation Then we have to rely upon Our left part Or we have to incline left part inclined to the left, left side okay whenever we sit for urination or defecation we have to incline to the left left, part, left side now hadith number 437 by haqi sunan al-kubra and ibn umar ayyallahu anhu qala kana rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam idha arad al-hajat tanaha fala yarfa'u ولا يرفع ثيابه حتى يدنو من الأرض. It is Ibn Umar الله عنه reports this. When our Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم intended to go for privy, that is for urination or like that, then he used to go to a far place, that is far from the people. Then and he never used to rise his clothes, rise his clothes until he uh, reach the earth or floor mm -hmm. so uh, only after reaching the floor he would <coughs> rise his clothes okay thiyab thiyab means clothes yes. clothes assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam